Good morning, YouTube. It is a beautiful Saturday morning. We are going garage selling again. Let's see what kind of finds we can get and how much money we can make. It is 7 a.m. Early bird gets the worm. Let's get it. And pro tip, never take the brand new car garage sailing. Always take the old one. See you. See you on the other side. Alright, we're back. So, it's Saturday afternoon. Uh, I just went out this morning with Brooke and I think I got some pretty good stuff. Check this stuff out, guys. Okay, so let's start with the tripod that I'm filming this on. I got for, check this out. So, I've been using this mini one, which is good, which I paid a dollar for. Today, I got this new badass one fully extendable it's got a level on it swivel everything I got that thing for a toonie two bucks for you Americans if you don't know what a toonie is so here we go let's start off with this RC car they wanted five bucks or it's an RC boat I gave them five bucks Honestly, I didn't have uh, cell service while I was there, so I couldn't look up how much this item sold for, but I know RC stuff is hot. It sells for money, and for five bucks, you can't go wrong. The lady said it was never used. So, obviously this plastic card is broken or pushed in here. I'm not gonna sell it as brand new, but, you know, we'll see how much that goes for. I'll post it up uh, on this screen. Okay, next, I'll save that for after. I got a bunch of games here, PS3 and one Xbox 360 game. I really wasn't that interested in, in these games, but it's what came with it. Look at this thing, is that thing not Fuego or what? Killzone 3, oh, compatible with Killzone 3. All right, so PlayStation Move, Sharpshooter. This thing is dope. I got the gun and the games for five dollars can't go wrong with that I'm pretty sure that the uh, sharpshooter sells for 60 bucks by itself so next I got these two inbox brand new uh, brother toner cartridges the guy wanted 10 bucks a piece I gave him 10 bucks for both he took it I'll show you guys how much these sell for um, I got the NBA 2K16. They wanted five. Honestly, I had 250 in my pocket. I offered them 250. She wasn't too happy, but she took it. Boom! Saved myself two dollars and fifty cents. That's how you make money at garage sales. I got three VHS tapes. I pick these things up every single time because. You know, I, I pick them up for probably 25 cents, 50 cents, even a dollar sometimes at most. And I'll wait till I've got 10, 15, 20 of them. You throw them up on eBay, boom, you got yourself a clean 50, $100 bill, you know? Easy. These things always make you money. Um, I got this Play Mobile City, brand new, in the box, 25 cents. I didn't even, I didn't have to go negotiate with that. Where's the price tag? There is no price tag. She gave it to me for 25 cents. I said, lady, here's a quarter. Keep the change. <laughs> All right, uh, we spoke about these and this. Okay, check this out. I got the vintage fanny pack. That's not all. They wanted five. It came with the Panasonic Walkman. Slim, this thing is rare. 
this bad boy will fetch you a $50 bill and I paid $2 and she was happy to take it. Two bucks for the both of those, how gangster is that? All right, next, ooh, we got some big hauls here. Okay, so before I get to the Xbox stuff, let's check out this bad boy right here. The Baby Brezza, oh, you guys can't see. The Baby Brezza, this thing is some sort of formula maker. I saw this on it, $200 new, asking 50 bucks. So what I did was, I was interested in this, and these weights. And you can see the weights, they wanted $5 for the 35 pound, and $5 for the 220 pound. And everybody knows that weights always sell for a dollar a pound, regardless. If it's a metal weight, it's a dollar a pound. So we got 40 bucks right there. Gonna sell these locally on uh, Kijiji or Craigslist or Let Go. And we got 35 there. So we got, what is this, 40, $75, easy. And the baby Brezza. So I offered her 30 bucks for everything. And we went back and forth, back and forth. She ended up taking the 30 bucks. The baby Brezza actually sells every day, $100, no problem, used. So that's 175 bucks, boom, boom, with the weights. Uh, and I only paid 30. Okay, check this out. Brand new, sealed, in the box, Chia Pet. That thing's gangster, Looney Tunes. I don't know, I might wanna keep that for myself. Featuring Sylvester and Tweety. I, I didn't even look up how much this thing sells for, but I got it for $2. Where's the sticker? No sticker on it. I got that thing for two bucks. All right, next guys is a huge gaming haul. I got this Xbox 360 steering wheel with the pedal, an Xbox 360 hard drive, um, all the cables. I got like a gazillion controllers in here. Um, what is this? I got the, the Kinect. I got headphones. Headphones brand new in the package. There's more crap down there. I got the original Xbox that's hacked with controllers. And I got the Xbox 360 with the Gears of War faceplate, with the original faceplate. Um, let's see, look, I got more accessories in here. Some of these accessories, I got this cable here to charge the controllers. I got, I don't even know, I didn't even look in here, what do we got? Oh man, look at this, we got the remote to go onto the, uh, the keyboard onto the controller. We got extra cables, more extra cables. Look at this, we got the wireless connector for the Xbox 360. I got all that gaming stuff for $60 cash. I almost forgot to show you guys the first score of the day. This is the first garage store that I, sale that I went to. Um, I got all these books here. They're all brand new. Not sure how much they all total for, but they're all going up on Amazon. They've all got uh, under 100,000 rank and they were all fetching like 10 to $30 a book. Um, I got all of them for $3. And then I got this Elvis, the complete 50s mastered five compact, compact discs. I bought this for $2. And this fetches about 30 to 50 bucks on eBay. So not a bad little haul for five bucks. Okay, so I wanted to tell you guys a little story about what happened right after I was done garage selling. I got a text message and it was from a lady that I gave my number to at a garage sale. And uh, it's the lady actually that I bought the Xbox 360 and the Xbox stuff from. Uh, right before I left, I asked her, hey, do you have anything else for sale? Any Game Boys, uh, other game consoles, games or whatnot, because her son was there. And she said, yeah, you know what? We've, uh, I think I've got some old Nintendo stuff in the basement. Uh, let me dig it up and Give me your number and I'll give you a call or I'll text you and let you know what I got. So I said, okay, great. And she said, Josh, you can come on by. We have a couple Nintendos here with some games. Come check it out and, uh, and see what we can do. So I drove over there. It's about two minutes down the road from me. 
and she said okay my son's been looking up these prices online it looks like we can get about 200 bucks for this stuff but don't worry I'm not going to charge you 200 bucks so I said okay no problem you know let me check it out and see what you got so I go inside and this is what I got I got the Super Nintendo it is yellowed but still a good deal with the controller I got a Nintendo 64 with two controllers with rumble packs still on them and a whole bunch of games some of these games fetch like 30 to 50 bucks a piece some of the Mario games Donkey Kong GoldenEye I got Zelda in there I got a whole bunch of stuff all for 60 bucks okay guys that's it for video number two I'm wrapping this up I hope you guys enjoyed all the content if you did please like the video hit the thumbs up and please subscribe if you haven't done so already it really helps me out thank you very much till next time peace